Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's B-Jaws. So it looks like we're not going to get the Falcon from Halo Reach, which is kind of a bummer. So they have finally unveiled the wreck cards we can expect to get when the Memories of Reach update does become live. So now we know all of the armor and all of the weapons that we're expected to get. And uh, I was really, really hoping that we could get a Falcon from Halo Reach because that would have been so fun. It would have brought back so many memories from Halo Reach, and it would have been absolutely awesome. But we're getting a new Phaeton variant nonetheless, and that is pretty cool. So here you guys will see the Phaeton Helios is the new Phaeton variant. So it looks like it's kind of like a reddish, orangish glow camo to it. So it looks pretty cool. Now, I'm not entirely sure what this will do as of projectile-wise. I'm not sure what, how it will shoot or what it will shoot. And because there's an absolute no description for it, but I gotta say it does look pretty dang cool And hopefully I will get a chance to fly one of these I only have one of the regular Phaetons and I have not tried to fly it yet So that's kind of a bummer But hopefully I can get maybe five of these or something when I do unlock my rec packs And that would be awesome if I could showcase to, this to you guys and uh, actually show how it flies and what it does What it does shoot so it's you know, even though we're not getting the Falcon It does look really cool and then of course we have George's chain gun right there So that is definitely confirmed and then we have some new matchmaking preferences. So you can actually search with different preferences now. This is from Arena and Warzone. You can do both of this in. So first we have Balance, which is just a default that we've been using all along. It's where you search for match based on skill and network connection. And then we have Expanded, which is a widened search for first match that meets skill and network requirements. And then we have a Focus, where you find the best match based on skill and connection. And this may take the longest time. So that is pretty cool that they're finally adding this. You can actually change it up in uh, the way you want to search. And then we have a new Carnage Report coming into this game. So I'm really excited about this. I always love the Carnage Report from the previous Halos. I always love to see what kind of medals I get, how many of them I got, and uh, all that cool stuff. So we, get, we can finally see all the medals, the rarity of each medal, how many we got, a description of each medal, your tool of destruction, who killed you the most, who you killed the most, and that's pretty cool. So it shows your KD and your flag captures, whatever objective you're playing. So I can't wait to actually try this out and um, you know see for myself. It's going to remind me of, all, of the good old days in the previous Halos, and I'm really, really glad they added this back. And then we have some uh, description for each medal, zombie medal. So we have the zombie hunter. I showed you guys these before, but we have the zombie hunter where you kill five zombies without dying. Zombie slayer, kill ten zombies without dying. Hell's janitor where you kill 15 zombies without dying. So I was correct on all of these except for the last three, which I did not know. Which you guys will see coming up. So then we have Hell's Jumper, kill 20 zombies without dying. Zomba Side, where you kill 25 enemies, or 25 zombies without dying, I should say. And then the Cure, kill 30 zombies without dying. So you guys know all these because of my previous videos. I'm just going through them quickly. Infector, infect 2 survivors without dying. Carrier, infect 3 survivors without dying. Ravager, where you infect 4 survivors without dying. And these ones look pretty cool with those stars on them and the helmets, the Spartan helmets in the background. So I really like the way these ones look. And then, we have, of course, we have the Plague Bearer, which is infect five survivors without dying. The Lord of the Flies, infect six survivors without dying. And last man standing, be the last man standing. So I guessed in the previous video on the Plague Bearer and Lord of Flies. Looks like I was correct, so that makes me feel pretty good. And then we have the Infected, which is infect a survivor. And then Ancient One, where you survive an entire round as a zombie and infect one Spartan. And then, of course, you have Survived, where you survive the entire round. Round. So that is pretty cool. And then these last three are the very, very new ones that I did not know. So we have Resourceful, you kill a zombie when all weapons are empty. Stalker, assassinate a zombie, which would probably be really, really hard. I'm not sure if that's even possible, but maybe you're going to be able, you know, a chance to do it. And then we have Flatline, where you kill the last man standing. So those are pretty cool. And then we have a new infection map that is made by the community, and it's called Backwoods. So they've actually been testing this in, uh, in their lab or whatever that they're working on to you know, make sure that it might be playable when this infection game mode does become live. So here's a screenshot for you guys. And it looks pretty cool. It definitely looks like it's going to be a cool infection map if they do release it. It's got that infection vibe. You know, it's kind of kind of dreary, kind of damp, I guess you could say, kind of dark. And it's got like the, you know, the, the, the trees in the background and the grass or whatever it is growing on the building and stuff. So it looks like it's run down and pretty cool. And I absolutely cannot wait until we actually, um, you know, get to play the infected mode and all that stuff. So that's a lot of information. I know, I know it's, hopefully it's not too much for you guys, but, you know, I wanted to get out there, show you guys all the crazy cool things that are coming in this new Memories Reach update. And I'm really excited about this update because they're adding some really, really great things into this game. And I think they should have been there from the very start, especially the Carnage Report, because I absolutely loved it. And, uh, you know, in the forums I would write, where is the Carnage Report? And I was a little upset that it wasn't there. But they're finally bringing back, so it sounds like they're listening to the community pretty well. And plus, we're getting another Phaeton variant. So if you have a if you have Phaeton, or if you're lucky enough to get this new one, then that is awesome. You have a chance to fly a new 
Forerunner vehicle, and that is awesome. Adding, adding new vehicles in the game is always a good thing because, you know, adds variety. And who doesn't want to fly a new vehicle? I mean, it's just, just awesome. Hopefully, I get a chance to fly it myself. But what do you guys think about this new update coming? So this update will be coming later on in May, and I just can't wait until we actually get it and play some infection and hopefully get my hands on that new fade down. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. If you do subscribe, that would be even better. And I will see you guys next video. See ya!